from janitor to six-figure blogger. Let me tell you it's harder than you think. And it's gonna take longer than you think. I started learning digital marketing in 1998. While I was a janitor. Scrubbing school toilets for a living wasn't exactly my idea of success. Anyway. After a lot of beep ups I went full time with a hobby site in 2004. But even then it took another 10 years before I really started to get things figured out. And when I look back. There are three things I've learned. Focus on value instead of money. Ask people to take mutually beneficial action. Be consistent every day. I'll go into more detail. Focus on value instead of money. Why do people use the internet? Why do you use the internet? Think about it. It's for content. Right? Content is king. You've heard that a million times before. It's true. But it's only part of the solution. Now. If you just want a blog and don't care about making money. Then cool beans just churn out post after post. But if you want a business then you need to. Ask people to take mutually beneficial action. In every piece of content you make you must ask the reader to do something that benefits both of you. It could be to share your article. Subscribe to your email list. Or buy a product. And if you've delivered enough value then you bet they'll want to a give something back and b get more content from you. Then. You need to repeat it over and over. Be consistent every day. It doesn't matter if you can only spend 20 minutes working on your business. But it has to be consistent and it has to be every day. Do something that benefits your business. Every. Single. Day. You don't have to sacrifice your friends or family. Work every waking hour. Or any of that other grand car dunspeep. You just have to be consistent. If you do it enough. After around a month it becomes part of your routine. And that's when you'll experience growth. It won't be overnight. It won't happen suddenly. But things will slowly begin to change. You'll slowly begin to see greater and greater results. More traffic. More money. And more freedom. You can do it. But only if you're prepared to work for it. Every day. For years. Happy to answer any questions. This is great. I have lots of content I want to start monetizing and I'm in overwhelm with getting started learning the ropes. I know everything can be learned for free but I'm willing to pay a modest amount to accelerate my learning. Do you think SEM Rush is a good investment? I'd also like to bring my main client up to speed. They have killer content and decent income but zero optimization slash analytics. I fee if I can scale them up that would teach me a lot. I do think SEM Rush is very good. If you use it properly. I think its biggest strength is competitor research, if they haven't blocked the SEM Rush bot. Do you know how it compares to Uber Suggest or is it a different tool altogether? Super awesome story. Thanks for sharing. Very inspiring to someone who is just getting started with blogging. Can my website outrank an 11 year old website with the over 70 in most keyword search tools without backlinks? I currently get to 5 to 3 5k traffic per month. This is my first blog. The competitor website is of low quality but very well established. Kinda like medium. But on a lesser scale. The competitor gets like 100m clicks per month. Domain authority is king. You'll need to acquire a higher domain authority. Google is broken. Does working on low competitive keywords help to build authority or I need backlinks? The thing is it's not really a type of niche where I can find backlinks easily. Most of the articles are small. Backlinks are always better. 
but they are what high authority domains typically can acquire in short order because high authority domains tend to be deep pocket traditional companies. If the 11 year old website you are competing against is not a large company, then you just need newer and more numerous backlinks. People write on niche keyword low competition topics precisely because Google demonstrates an almost complete inability to recognize new quality content. Think of niche low competition topics as table scraps dropped on the floor unknowingly by humans at the feast and we are the dogs scrounging on the floor. The risk of building a site on niche topics is that you can lose your search rank overnight on any one article when a higher ranking website decides to write on that topic. So. For example, gaming sites have been dethroned by Forbes and Newsweek when Forbes and Newsweek realized they could get hundreds of millions of views simply by writing Fortnite gaming tutorials. That video game has a bunch of new challenges every week for their players and these non-gaming websites are publishing cookie cutter content and raking in the page views because Google is broken. Congrats on all the hard work and the rewards. I think my biggest problem is finding the niche slash topic. Once I have that it's full steam ahead. Writing has never been a problem for me. Let's figure out your niche. Look through your bookshelf. Your Kindle. Go through your browser history and look at the type of sites you visit. What type of content do you enjoy reading about? If someone has a problem. What do they usually ask you for help with? What skills or hobbies do you have? If there was one thing more people could do, that would make their lives more enjoyable. What would it be? That might give you a starting point. Make a list. Now go through the list and validate your ideas. You need to make sure there's money being spent in your niche. And the right kind of money. Are people running ads on Google? Are people running ads on FB? Are books slash magazines being sold and bought on Amazon? On Amazon look for verified on reviews. If you can tick all three boxes then you know it's a viable niche. Hope this helps. This is the best advice I have heard for how to find your niche. Your wording is refreshing and your advice more in depth than most I've read. Great breakdown. Thank you. Awesome post love it. Congrats on making it and for giving back by sharing. Thank you for the inspiration and sharing your experience. It's always so helpful to hear from those that persist and stick with it and find success. Thank you for this. This is great advice. Thank you. I have a Patreon blog and I have had so much fun working on it. I have 5 patrons and I have found that the paywall makes me more comfortable sharing about my life while motivating me to me worthwhile content each time. To promote my blog. I use Instagram to share free and shareable content. It's only been a few months but I think having 5 patrons. With none leaving. Is really great progress since launching in July. It's not standard to start a blog with charging money but it works best for me. Also, I think it's important to normalize paying artists for the work they create. Thank you for sharing your inspiring story. Post saved and more success to you. This is gold. That is what everyone says but I've literally done that and I get. Crickets. Well let's figure out what the problem is so we can fix it. Let's go back to basics for a second. Does your blog publish educational content? I blog about minor league baseball and IMO the content is just as good as most other sites. Great. What's your sales process or monetization method? I don't really have enough traffic to get any sort of monetization so I don't have any method or sales process. I think we all know the answer. But we all sort of want some kind of secret formula that can magically turn a blog into a success. I run a blog with 2. 3k uniques a month and I know the formula to hit success that's being the leader in my niche. Is like you said. Keep working at it. 
Learn from failures. Keep improving. My question though. How do you set realistic goals in the early days? Value offer conversion. That's the formula. Setting realistic goals. With my first blog I didn't set any. Just wandered aimlessly trying different things without any direction. But with my most recent project. I've got it down. I started with a small target. Each time I posted a new video I'd work my arse off until it got 100 views. I'd give myself a week to achieve it. Then slowly. As I'd reach the target I'd reduce the amount of time I'd give myself. And increase the number of views I wanted to reach. I use the same strategy for all my KPIs. So start with small. Easily achievable targets. And slowly increase them. It's what works for me. But I'm sure there are better ways. That's very interesting. As a blog I've never had a target for individual content or post. Just one overall goal for the blog. But you make me question whether I have gained as much value from each post. Promote the branches. Not the tree. That's so wise. I think it might be against the rules but do you mind sharing your blog? It is just from a month I have been lurking here. I have only seen one website with 30k page views which had a problem on how much he should charge. I want to see more of these successful websites so I would know how far the journey still is. Also. What are your challenges? Especially the unforeseen one? What host did you start with? Theme builder etc. Sorry I am still at that stage so those are the ones I am interested about. Not up. But chiming in here as someone that has had higher page view counts than you mentioned with the observation that asking them what hosts, themes, page builders, etc. That they started with will 100% not be relevant since as they said. They started in 1998. Hosts were different then. Page builders and such really weren't a thing. Hell. WordPress didn't even exist then. As someone that has dug into the questions you're asking from a programming perspective. As I build custom plugins. Functionality. Themes sometimes for my sites. Pick a host you can afford with decent reviews. As you don't have to stick with them forever. Theme depends heavily on what page builder you're using. In my experience. As far as page builders go. Most of them can't hold a candle to Elementor. I've tried almost all of them. And Elementor is still hands down the winner emo. The most important thing honestly is to just start. You're wasting time not putting out content drilling down into the details when you have months after you write your first articles before anyone will even start finding your site to iron out things like page builders and such. Right? I manually updated my site with Macromedia Dreamweaver. Create a new HTML page and link to it from the homepage. Can still remember the excitement of using that software. Felt like a luxury moving from notepad. Even just a domain name cost 100 back then. So my first ever site was on GeoCities. Then my dad turned his PC into a server of sorts. But I had to get a professional solution after a while. Paid hosting. That was either with a company that doesn't exist anymore or was taken over by IG. Nine web host maybe. How do you earn money with your blog? Multiple income streams. Affiliate marketing. Courses. Memberships. CPM on videos. And mentorship. Please share URL in comments. It's not against rules if you tell in comments. This is what I'm working on at the moment. I've had over 30 websites in the last 20 years. And worked on other people's websites. Some names you'd recognize. YouTube is where I'm publishing most of my top of funnel content now. Then repurposed for a blog and podcast. 
Thanks I will get all your tips from there and implement it. Great news to hear this evening. I hope you achieve more success. One question. I just started an Amazon affiliate site. I plan to generate decent traffic but so far it's not happening. I have published only two commercial articles with the third almost ready to publish. How to generate initial traffic with almost no backlinks. What's the nature of your content? That determines what you can do with it. For example, if it's educational content I e helps people to solve a problem then you have a lot more options than say content that is pure entertainment. My articles are mainly due to product reviews. Like I did a top 5 gaming mice and other articles were about gaming mousepad. Now I plan to make some education blog posts like gaming side effects etc to gain links later and build authority. Hey can you answer me that is it important to have a com or I can have any domain and to grow it. Also please tell me secret to build backlinks. Domain suffix largely doesn't matter. But with all things being equal Google might give a little nod to a country specific TLD if it's relevant to the query. Secret to backlinks. Find broken backlinks on relevant sites and provide a substitute. I found me for my website good because I think it suits and many big brands or influencers these days use me TLD thanks for sharing your story I have a question that maybe you could help me answer I currently own an Instagram luxury themed page where I mainly repost photos and videos about supercars mansions and rich lifestyle as it stands today it is close to 85k followers. Reaching more or less 1. 5m people every week. Despite this I'm having a lot of trouble monetizing it besides 2 or 3 promoted posts every month mainly because there are hundreds of pages like mine and I bring little value to my followers compared to other similar pages. So I was thinking about creating a blog about luxury where I would go more in depth. Talking about supercars. Rich people luxurious holidays and this way I could stand out in the crowd and monetize my page. So my plan would be create a blog post about luxury promoted to my followers in my page grow monetize. What's your opinion about my plan? Do you think it could be successful? Besides ads what are the best ways to monetize my blog one thing I noticed is that my followers aren't rich nor have a luxurious life so I can't sell them high ticket products or services. Thanks. And here I thought it was Dax came all the way from YouTube to here. Thank you for this post. You can actually make 80. 000 in 90 days like I did instead of years. This made me go back and rethink my blogging niche. Is it okay to have a general item niche or a very specific one? For instance geeky slash nerdy things cosplay. Video games. Anime. Etc or video game development specific. Please repost this on r slash passive underscore income. That's a great suggestion. Done. Thank you. Can you share your blog link? Like someone else mentioned I do not have an area I fit into great story and it does show it can be done. 